In this video I'll show you where to get all the ultimate weapons. Ultimate weapons are crafted through flying smithy that is unlocked by going to Magic Academy in Nisa and going to this exact room where there's gonna be an interactable map on the desk that unlocks flying smithy afterwards. Go to the flying smithy and there you can craft ultimate weapons by giving him rusty weapon plus soul of Farnese. During Act 3 there's gonna be a quest in Tormund that is called Into the Maelstrom. It starts in Tormund and then you have to go to Farnsport to Magnolia where the quest starts. After completing Into the Maelstrom a rusty sword is given. Rusty Bow is a reward for side quest called No Place for Happy Endings. This quest starts, I'm not sure when, maybe Act 4 or Act 3 at Rock Bottom. Go to this exact house and there's gonna be a cutscene that starts quest No Place for Happy Endings. After completing the quest, Rusty Bow is given as reward. After Sky Armors have been unlocked you can go to Rochland Fields northwestern part and in one of the chests there's gonna be Manor Key. After collecting the Manor Key go to the Manor that is in the middle of the map and follow the path in the video to reach Rusty Rapier. To get Rusty Gun go to Fear Woods and talk to Jack. After Clan reaches rank 3 and story progresses to act 4, Jack can be recruited into your clan. After Jack has been recruited, trees in front of him will be cleared and that's where you'll find Rusty Gun. Rusty Gun Spear can be found in northeastern Shambhala. Quite easy to get, land on top of the nearby island and drop down to get to this red chest that contains Rusty Gun Spear. Rusty Katana can be bought off of Norgant after completing the quest called Two Wing Angel, which is a side quest that starts at Act 4, if I'm not mistaken. Rusty Anchor can be found on a hidden island after completing quest called A Little Vacation. 
I have a guide for this quest and I'm gonna list it in the description, but it is fairly straightforward one. Rusty Spear and Rusty Amulet can be found in Leonard Tombs, which are part of Leonard Challenges. I've done guide on how to unlock Leonard Tombs and how to complete the challenges. Link to that video is in the description. To get Rusty Greatsword, first you have to collect Elevator Key, which is in Magic Academy of Nyssa, in that same room where you have collected Flying Smithy map. In that room there is also a chest to the side that contains Elevator Key. Upon collecting the Elevator Key, go to Ramina's Tower and use it on the elevator that you really can't miss, as it is part of the story progression. By having an elevator key, a new option is offered to go to floor 1F. After the elevator, your goal is to get to room number 7. There is going to be another elevator there, which you need to take down, as that leads to another exit to Green Grottoes, and also secret merchant that sells Rusty Greatsword. Rusty Knuckles are part of Chain Rewards. Rusty cards are obtained after defeating all the unique monsters in the game. Go to the Adventurer's Guild and they are going to give you Rusty cards after clearing all the unique monsters. Here is a list I have found online that explains clearly where and how to get to each unique monster in order to get Rusty cards. Anyway, hopefully this video helps and see you soon.